do not have it exactly up yet, but today, or again, we're streaming again today, we're finding some secrets in Roblox doors. Starting with the one I know, and ending with something that is pure speculation. Maybe. I watched a couple videos earlier. The high chance that these things that I saw were fibs, but I've got to. But the real way I'm going to figure this out is I'm going to start by checking the achievements. The ones we so far don't have are using crucifix against seek eyes. Screech, Halt, and Figure, and then you have to pay five dollars, die a hundred times, serious back, and then achievements that I can't see. Now, supposedly, from speculation, there's an achievement where you can get Bob to jump scare you, and you can also revive Bob. And if you don't know who that is, that is the skeleton that you see see in room 52, I think it is. Now, I don't know if that's real, but what I saw in the video was they gave Bob some pills. And I'm gonna do that. But, I also want to find, hopefully I can find 250 coins and those lockpicks I bought are not gonna get used because to yes the rifts that's just gonna sit there for a while uh, the um, in the secret room the way you find it is you have to I think it's in room 60 you have to find a secret area and in said secret area you need to use two lockpicks and the skeleton key and from there it'll unlock certain areas and you'll end up in the secret zone that's nice max flashlight on our pet now if we're lucky we'll find the amount of money we need or we want because I want that amount of money because I want to be able to bring a crucifix into a zone that I've never been into before. And I only know the names of the entities and kind of what they look like based off of the several thumbnails going around YouTube. Like, I think it's A60 and A90 that they're called. And I'm really curious to know what they look like. I'm If this chest, find this new chest in here. Battery and more money. Uh, but yeah, that's what I've seen on the internet, and we're just gonna see how this goes. This is actually the first time I've truly soloed Doors before, because I've played Doors with, like, the, my friend died almost immediately. That is not fake. Well, actually, it is fake. It's Lightroom. And it was quite... it was something. Wow. Also, there's another thing I want to... God damn it, game, really? Uh, there's another thing I want to test. There's apparently a room in this game where there can just be a crucifix hanging on the wall because you can get it in the shop. You can get it via... Uh, using the skeleton key and opening that room. 
and supposedly in one of the new added rooms. God damn it, game. There is a crucifix that's just on the wall. Also, my game is slightly laggy because I pressed E like seven times. The first time I've had eyes consecutively twice. And I don't think anybody is awake in my friend group to see this stream. So I'm gonna say this now. If you were here for last stream, you will hear will have heard Jack mention how he will not let me beat the next level before him. And while I know he means floor two. On a technicality, this is the, the next level is already here because of the secret level. Which is why now, if I have to, especially since Haya is streaming um, Phasma tomorrow and I don't stream that with her, I may very well just do a stream where I make it a very long stream about beating the secret level if we don't beat it tonight, which I'm highly doubting we will. Because Doris, especially when it first came out, was the game of dying, figuring out, oh, this is what Rush does, this is what this does, this is what that does. It's basically, it's just a game of die. Okay, so that's how you deal with him. You know how to deal with him now. And we already have enough to get, if they're in the store, both the crucifix and skeleton key. Which is great. Piss. Yeet. I knew it. I pulled my earbuds out. I was like, I think it might be this one, but I'm not sure. I just pulled my earbuds out. This is why you loot dark rooms when you have a flashlight. You go. Okay. I should open this in a minute. God. Twenty. I love that they have the mechanic to where you don't need to press a button, it just picks up the coins because it knows you want it. 22! When you're in single player, you can take a lot more time opening drawers and checking if you got everything. Got more pill- I 
wish you could examine what these paintings are called. Twenty-four, twenty-five. I don't know if anybody saw that in the camera, but I saw him. Can't see shit, so I'm just gonna turn this on for a moment. I don't know if I'm the only one that saw it, but in the distance, saw his reflection. Where's the door that I'm meant to enter? Uh, get in room 27. God, how many vitamins are you going to give me in the one game where I wanted vitamins and decided to buy vitamins? Hello, Beth. Uh, yeah, in the corner of the game capture, you could physically see that he had just shown up. Like, like if you look, if you were to, like, maybe hit the clip button and go back, you'd see... That he's in the, he was in the distance. Oh, cool. I just skipped the whole ass animation. Uh, my steak was pretty good. My dad had trouble with the grill, but other than that, it was good. My steaks came out looking alright. His came out looking like a tennis ball. 28. Eyes, so I don't need to worry about the light flicker. Yes! Max health! 690. 29. Made a bowl of cereal for dinner. I feel that. 30. 31. I need to turn my light off. There we go. I just had my desk light on. Money. Money. There we go. And first chase. Here we go. And if that, uh, so there was a room where you can get a crucifix on the wall. If that is true, then on a technicality, you can get a crucifix on room one. Because I've actually seen that video. That video got published a couple days ago. You can just get a crucy on day one, which was, or door one, which was pretty useful, honestly. Thirty-seven. And seek, run up, goofy. There you go. Thirty-eight. Just real quick checking. I said thirty-eight, 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 thirty-eight. That's forty. So we're going that way. Fuck, I don't need any more money, but that doesn't mean I'm going to stop looting. Remember, 40 is not the right door. It's been a lucky game. Uh, that's not a door I can enter back there, so 39... Now we're going that way. I'm really excited for the time where I eventually can just, you know, yeet the figure with the crucifix, because I'm actually really excited to see that animation. So once we hit door 60, that's when, supposedly, the secret room begins. And I have not literally looked at anything. In fact... I'm a shout out to YouTuber, 8 Ryan. I've been wanting to watch his videos on doors, but I've refused as I don't want to give myself any spoilers for the secret area. And I'm known to, like, I was going to watch one episode of his Shadow of Rose playthrough. 
and that ended up morphing until I watched one episode and couldn't stop. And then I proceeded to watch a whole series of a game I wanted to watch a snip bit of. The last pizza party of all the creators? What? That'd be lucky if you're playing a five player match. Can't wait for Twitch to figure out that I'm pretty much affiliate so I can get my emotes into Twitch. Something I think is funny and just my luck is I, I wanted to bring more VR content to my Twitch channel. And then the second I started thinking, maybe I should add more VR content, that's when my VR headset stopped working. And it's a mix of funny and really annoying. God, the one match I buy everything is the one match that the game just fo spoon feeds me what I want. This would be great if I was playing with more people, but I'm single playing this because nobody in my friend group that plays Force with me is awake right now. There we go. Shit, I don't remember the door number. Neatness. Okay, so that's the only door, so we got lucky. It's, uh, 45. Neat. God, game! Need that at forty six. No, forty seven. Not even going to bother looting the dark room. Nine. That was not a real. Pst. I said 49 in anticipation once I saw this room. So, 50's right there, so... Loot this. In the globe for power. Into something I've never attempted solo. Well, technically I have, because beat the game from room 30 solo. First time, because my friends died on room 30, or everywhere before room 30. Couldn't be on this side, had to be on that side. That's alright though. I'm lucky I have everything I need. One. Three. Four. Missing two books.
Chorus game. I didn't even move, I just stood up. He's about to walk up. I wanted to check this section so far not to... I'm gonna let him walk up again, then I'm gonna try to get the... Book the tiding on this side of the bookshelf. Because I don't want to rush this. I don't have to rush this. I'm not speed running and I'm not gonna rush it. Okay. Walk up, right in time to get around there. I knew that was going to be one of the ones we needed. So now we need to find X, and that should be... up top. It's great, because right as we got around... Of course, there's nothing on this side. Isn't that the one I- no. In X. And he's coming up. So, right now, 1-6. That's what I can do without him murdering me. And I mind he's down there. 3-9 something. 3 Nine, find something. Eight. Just wait for him to walk by and then we did it. Walk away. Eight. What? One, six, one, six, let's see, hmm, six, yeah, and then three, oh, I see what I did, saw the pentagram instead of the star, so, something, zero, eight. How did I remember the last in that digit? Oh, three, yeah. And we're good. 52. Hola. I knew that was a joke. Scale the key, Crucy. Double, t you know what, I'll just. Have a nice day, Bob. Fifty four. Fifty five. 56 will be up there, but four more rooms until we're in the special area, so I don't want to rush this until we're, until we're finding it. Nope, this goes. 
56, 57 is right there. Damn. 58. Started to get excited. Yeah, I'm a Last of Us fan. I played the first one on PS4 and the second. So glad I kept track. Wait. God damn it, I knew I didn't say 58. Son of a bitch. I knew I didn't say. Uh, no. No, I have not. I have not seen that series because we don't have HBO, but I have watched... I've both watched and played both Last of Us games. Okay. Now, the confusing part. What? It's pitch black. This painting doesn't seem to have a title. There's music. Door we can't get to. Missing a lever or something? No. Should I look it up? Should I? No. All this doesn't seem to have a title. Going to look it up. I'm actually, why is my YouTube on light mode? Ow. Or a secret room. How to find and safely exit. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna how to find it real quick. Oh, oh, I get it. That sucks that I've used that much of my flashlight, but that makes sense. So if this is what I think it is. Yes, okay. So you don't 
so so what you're gonna want to do you're gonna want to find the lever down in the in room 61 basement section freaking awesome make it to battery but instead walking that way you're gonna walk this way. Don't need that at this point. I know nothing's gonna spawn back here, and I know which way to walk. And it's open. I'm upping the in-game volume. Y'all ready for this? Hold on. Let me make it to where I can see my actual screen. Yeah. This is what you do. Is where you need them. Room A000. Lock pick one. Lock pick two. Skeleton King. Here we go! Overview. Continuing run. Reach door 61. Continue run. Loading. Oh, here we go! Please let me keep my shit. Detour. I think I'm lost. Enter the rooms! Oh, what? Oh, if you can rift that. What? Hold on, I need to test. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that when music starts playing in your ears, it's not a good thing in the lock. In normal rooms, or doors, room 10 is when shit goes wrong. I'm gonna hope it holds to that, but what does it mean when it's lighter than normal? Does it not work? First time doors has made me nervous in a while. Because I know there's things in this area. I think it's A60 and A90, like I said earlier.
I can't wait to see YouTubers' reactions to this in the morning. Because I'm terrified. Like, my, I feel like, I feel my heart in my throat right now. This feels like the back rooms. Like, that doesn't seem good. I played a backrooms game. This reminds me a lot of the backrooms. Remy. Oh, so that's where that image came from. There's an image on the internet of there being a Walter desk. It explains where that meme image came from. I feel like I'm gonna turn around and it's just gonna be there. Like, doors isn't scary anymore. This. I mean, I feel like it's just, I'm having classic fear of the unknown. And I think the worst part is, thanks to the internet, I know there's something here. But whatever it is, it's not going to show up yet. Is this a meeting room? Are we being watched when we go through doors? I'm so glad I used that video. I did not want to miss this. My tablet just gave me an alert that somebody went live and I was terrified. I thought that was something chasing me. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty funny. Th this is the game I wanted to play with you guys. Doors. I'm playing the secret zone right now. How many rooms are there in the A section? I'm gonna assume a hundred like the regular game, but fifty rooms, if there's not something here then there's something more to this that I'm missing. I didn't expect to be able to find this. My ear is itchy and I don't like that. Well, uh Random question for you, Beth. What does your body do in response to being scared in a video game? For some reason, my face and nose get really itchy when I'm nervous. Tom, a cup of hot chocolate, and a key card that I feel like I should be able to pick up. What does it mean when it says the cruise is lighter? Tense in your shoulders. Every time I hear that, I think r Rush. Yeah. I don't know if it runs in the family, and, like, in some families, it's very different. In my family, if, but if it's a jump scare, you almost throw your laptop. I feel you. When I first got the, uh, the dupe one, because I hadn't looked at the update at all, when I first got the dupe jump scare, I almost fell out of my chair. Like, it scared me so bad that, you know when you scream, but nothing comes out? Like, it gets you so scared that you try to screw him and it just doesn't work. It was one time I got scared in Subnautica, and I almost died. <laughs> because, it, it's funny to me now, because I survived. But I got so scared of something that I fell out of my chair, landed neck first, or more like side of head first on my desk. And then... I KNEW IT! Uh, Subnautica isn't that scary, unless you're like me and you have talisphobia, fear of the ocean. Also, I freaking knew that there was something. I was like, that's louder than usual. I almost w like, if I could- Uh... Yeah, and there was a crab snake, is what they called the enemy. And I got so scared that I fell out of my chair, landed, like, side of head first on my wooden desk, 
and then my hard plastic chair almost fell over onto my neck while I was laying on my bed. Sale. Saul. Better call Saul Goodman. Constitution says you have rights. Yeah, I dodged, though, and I was fine. What scares me is the fact that that's the first time it showed up. Oh, does the green light change shit? I don't like how it just went and then stopped playing audio. I'm going to walk... Absent. Yeah. Yeah, imagine. Yeah, you're right. Imagine going to the ER. Well, Doc, I have a broken neck because I got jump scared and my chair fell on me. That would be an embarrassing conversation. Also, sorry if I don't respond to your messages right away. I'm a little nervous, honestly. Like, I've never seen this. I've never- I haven't touched anything that would be spoilers. A90. Good, you have to make students faster to respond to. Cool. Also, I just found this kind of comical. This is meant to be a fridge. I think it's just kind of funny that it's just a locker with an extra cover. Please let room 100 be the end. I almost don't want to play this anymore. Knew it! I can't wait to hopefully beat this. And then replay it for the jump scares. Thump. Is it getting darker? It's just hit me. That is just getting darker. Well, I knew it was getting darker. I think that's just the first time I've talked about it. Please, room 100 be the end. Oh, no. Does this go for 200 rooms? Because now that I think about it, there's two entities, and we've seen one. Beth, am I the only one that went entirely quiet when I read that note, look behind you? That note said, look behind you, and I froze. It is, especially when there's no jump scare. That's what makes it worse. What the? Oh, hello. What was that shit? I'm surprised you found this place. Pretty tedious just to get here last time I checked. Anyways, what you died to? I think that's A90 I died to? Oh, that one. Oh my god, he, he appears after room A90. I hope that one isn't too confusing. What is it? All I'll let you know is that it starts attacking after room A90. That's why it's called A90. Could call it a 90. Yeah, okay, I've gotten that. Anyways, I hope you don't mind trying again. It would be helpful. How do I fight it? I'm gonna hit play again. 
But should I just not go downstairs? That explains why the other one's called A60. Because the other one must attack after room 60. So you're really only in danger after 60. But what? How do you fight it? How do you fight it? Exactly, Beathers. Wait, what? That jump scare... Um, that jump scare got caught in my throat for some reason. I didn't see it either. God, but wait, if A90... Don't you dare... Is there 200 rooms and I made it to 107? And this is the worst part. The, at the bare minimum, I need a lock... I need the two lock picks. Because to get there, just to get there alone, and also, I had the crucifix out. The crucifix does nothing. The crucifix does nothing in that area. So there is no, like, if you die, it's over. Oh my god, Beathers, I just had an amazing thought. What if that flashlight that you have to click to recharge lets you see A90? What if it's green because that's how you see him? And you and it's such a cheap price cuz no matter what you're going to have 10 coins in the game. I mean in the first room alone I have 30. If so, that's a really cool mechanic. And I'm just going to be blunt, you're the only thing keep, keeping me sane here. Like, I was terrified that entire time, and talking to you took the edge off. Oh, okay. Back into it. I want to see the jump scare. <laughs> it's this... Oh, wait, what? Rush already? Yeah, that's why I was talking about you'd basically be the emotional support friend if we ever went ghost hunting, because you just bring this light, fun energy with you. And it's very calming, especially when you're in constant fear. If I can get 500 coins, I'm probably just gonna slap the shit out of him in a room 50. Let's practice trying to calm people. Yeah, that actually does make sense. You have a very calming energy because you work on a, you work, and your entire job is to take 911 calls and try to calm said people down who are like, oh, this person had an injury and. It, could be fatal, call an ambulance, and you gotta try to calm them down and walk them through the motions of, you know, potentially doing what they can to help the person in need. Next call you're gonna get is someone gonna have a freaking heart attack because of this goddamn game. You're gonna have to <laughs> end up calling mom or something. I saw you, you stupid. <laughs> Being back in regular doors. Weirdly, you'd expect the noises in doors to make it creepy. But that's what made the rooms scary. Was the lack of noise. It was just no noise besides door creaks, wet carpet noise, and the occasional... <laughs> yeah, she sees in Discord. Hey, Aaron had a heart attack. That would be something. But that's what made the room so scary. It wasn't the fact that there was too much noise, it was lack thereof.
because somehow that makes it even worse when because you go from something that not only have you played a good 30 or 40 times to something brand new with literal with little to no sound at times and then you have to deal with two entities that when you d die you don't even get an explanation as to how it killed you that's gonna be fun to get through and if we don't beat it tonight we're definitely trying again tomorrow I'm probably ending the stream after about three hours or three attempts of it and I don't mean three attempts of trying to get there failing I mean three attempts of getting there and at least getting into room 90 because that's when shit goes wrong don't have the capacity and god damn why Seventeen. Like, I don't want to be, like, it, it's quite late at night, and I don't want to be like, Feathers, can you remember what door number we're on? But, <laughs> it's like, it's just one of those things where it's like, God, it's hard to remember when you're in constant fear. Or, more like, less constant fear, more just in the mood to speedrun. Twenty. I don't need the flashlight. I can deal with this. Nothing. Nothing. 22. Jack, can you not walk through? Start messing with closets, please. Thank you. It's actually really pretty. That's just a Roblox character. <laughs> and blue. Oh, God, just when you think a game wouldn't wouldn't be scary, I mean, the only real part that kind of scared me was the. I'm on 23. No. Wait, I went 22, 23, 24. I think it's 25. Hoping. Yeah, Roblox has a version of Phasmophobia. Now, obviously, it's not like, oh, this is as good as Phasmophobia, but it's a game that is quite reminiscent. And I can understand, like, it's kind of like playing Phantom Forces, where it's like, I'm not allowed to play Call of Duty because I'm a child. So, I like to hop on that. Son of a bitch. I always get those wrong when I forget the door numbers. That jump scare isn't even scary as much as it's just annoying now. Hello, Rush. One thing I want to try eventually is uh, there's an entity in this game called Hide. His entire purpose is if you sit in a, in a locker or under a bed too long, he'll just kick you out of it and take a chunk of your health. I have never been kicked out of the bed, out um, from under a bed, and I'm honestly curious. What do you say? Okay, I almost have enough for both the Crucy and the Skeleton Key. And one thing I've also noticed is the Crucifix doesn't always spawn in the uh, shop. But it does, no matter what, spawn the Skeleton Key. Which makes sense, because the Skeleton Key, like, there's a room that requires the Skeleton Key. Uh... There's two rooms, actually, because there's the secret rooms, the A rooms, and then... I think you were here for the other stream, where you can unlock a room in an infirmary, and it leads to potential crucifix and health items. Potential crucifix, like, triple the money of what you paid for the skeleton key. 
I had escaped the rooms, I would have escaped with over a thousand coins. And we also got a question. Is there escape? Yeah. So I understand why they don't always want the crucifix, because it's just an item that's there to, like, if you get it, you're lucky, because basically as long as it's out, you have a free hit. Or a free death, honestly. Without spending the... Because, uh, I, I bought my friends a game, and one of them gave me Robux, and that's why I have two revives. Already spent three revives, and I honestly don't want to spend any more. I mainly did it for the achievement, because I like getting achievements. What can I say? There's something satisfying about just seeing, you've achieved this. Although it's going to be kind of annoying when one of the achievements in this game is literally just pay $5 to join a group. But I mean, it gives you Robux each month, which is honest. Whoa, oh, oh, no. Quietness, because it doesn't have a mouth. Why did that just make me scared? The fire went out. I thought I heard Rush for a moment. God damn it. Oh my god. I need to turn down the amount of times Nightbutt does that. That's like the third one this stream. Maybe that's the way to go. I was not close enough for that to open the door, but it opened. Thirty-three. Thirty-four. Oh, so this also randomly generates, because last time it was 37 that we ended him on. And we're about to go into 35 right here. Pull my gaming glove onto my hands to, so I don't get caught the tunnel. And keep running. This song will forever be in my standards of good songs. Yeah, there's 37 right there. So we started at 35 and we're going to 40. So the first one is five rooms running. I just said where we're stopping at, so I got a free pass on that one. Let's go, lockpick. I have another one for either a chest or something. I don't know. I really enjoy streaming. 43. 44. 45. Why does a liminal space late for work? <laughs> that is just a liminal space. Forty-six. You sons of bitches! And that is door forty-six. So screw you! I'm going home. Or I'm going to A. Sorry, going to A zero. Seven. <laughs> In the back of my mind, I was like, if this is the door that Doop is at, I'm gonna look so stupid. <laughs> okay, 48, and then 49 is next, and then 50, and definitely going to 49. <sighs> back to... F I can't even... Wow. I wanted to... Beat figure to death with this one, but I can't even do that. Let's 
let's see, if I don't run into ambush... No, I've already done ambush. No, have I? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. I use... So, in our reality, this round I'm using it if the, uh... Seek doesn't show up, but we're either using it on Screech, or Halt, or Ambush. Hopefully Screech and Halt first, because those are the ones that I'm not too... That was weird. Those are the ones I'm not too sure that I've actually... I'm sure I haven't done. However, I'm not 100% certain I... Haven't already done... The other two I mentioned. Turn, 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 yes. Well, this way, I need to find the thing, and then I also need to. Circle, triangle, pentagon, that, quadrilateral, and X. So, we have the first two, and we're missing three. We're missing two. Is it where I think it is? Too sad. Hoping we can find the quad and the X up. So we can wait for mine and I'm gonna wait for shit. Look for the X. Somehow we found them all in order. Just looking for the X and we're waiting for him up there. Please walk by. Thank you, figure, thank you, Muckley. That was the last one, so we're just waiting for him to leave. So the first digits are seven two two. Seven two two. Six nine. What's up, buddy? The rule here that we must fill this tip jar. What about the pills? Okay, what do you want? Okay, I don't know. I have, five, I have six items in my inventory. I'm just gonna keep this out for now. Actually, I'm not going to do that, because that's when you accidentally use it on the wrong XP. Let's see. That was door 55. You little bit. Both just fix out, but I shit no no. I 
guess not. I don't know if it was just my monitor, but the lights flickered there and I'm nervous. Yeah. Understand why. I knew he was close. It's not room 60 specifically. I remember now. Screw this up, I'm gonna feel really stupid. I could have sworn this set of rooms came after. But maybe it's one of those things where it's because I've heard I I remember from the stream now. It's after room sixty. So it's not specifically room 60, it's after. The first time was literally just shit luck. Or more like great luck. for the rest. There it is. <laughs> Shit, I want to get one though. I'm just going to sit in this direction and wait. Because I have no use for this damn thing. It does nothing in the rooms. Not looking around. I wanted to do that for a while. I hate you. Could you not be yourself for five minutes? Screech has been killed or deleted with a crucifix once now. For some reason, I thought I didn't have lockpicks on me. All right, we're back here. Boom, boom, boom. Back into the rooms with me. All right, so now I don't need to be 100% scared until we are at least past room 60, where then I need to be wary of every noise And then, uh, you know what? Before I pass room one, I'm just gonna, um, F11.
do that. Press that. Press that. Uh, I don't care if you call this cheating. Auto clicker. Every millisecond, click that many times. And then if I press F6, it starts. F6, it stops. And I just need to test real quick. Boom, off the screen. F11 again. If I buy this, and then press F6. Does it for me. So now just to run until room 60. <laughs> you call it cheating. I also call it cheating, but I call it also innovative. Because when you're in a race against your close friends, it's all hands on deck to win this. The high chances of me actually doing that are quite irrelevant, honestly. Because, for some reason, I just thought it would, like, spam it and it would be done in five seconds. Like, immediately. Yeah, it's like, it's innovative, but also... It's basically like a tool-assisted speedrun. It's like, yeah, I'm going to beat this, but if I actually use the auto click, there's a chance of cheating. It's cheating? Then again, I can click the exact same speed that it did that anyway. It's making it click pretty much 10,000 times in a, in a millisecond. Did not change that as fast as it went. It just does it for me and doesn't make my hand want to explode. Remy. Oh. Wait, so these were... This isn't random generated then. That was the same death we got at that exact level. So the rooms aren't random generated. That is something alright. Also, I haven't gotten halt in forever. Where the hell is he? Like, why am I asking that in the rooms? That does not matter right now. Halt is in the doors dimension. I'm not walking down those stairs anymore. Albeit, it's probably something to do with the flashlight, but once it hits room 90 before I walk downstairs, going to use the flashlight. If I die again and the flashlight reveals nothing, then I'm using a video to figure out what this guy does. A60 is quite understandable. It comes after room 60, and it's basically just rush. Now, now that I know that these creatures don't show up until at least room 60. This isn't that bad. Because I know I don't need to be worried for a while. But also, at the same time, it kind of sucks. Because if he starts at room 60, how many levels are there? Because stuff starts going wrong in about room 10. In... Doors. And if we're going off of that logic for here... Now, I'm assuming this is not correct, but if we're going off of, like, Rush and everything can start at door 10. If door 60 is this ver is the room's version of door 10, then there would be 600 rooms. But there's no way in hell it's possible. But actually, in all reality, there's a way in hell, because this is hell. Honestly. <laughs> Someone asked me to, to, in my mind, create hell. And what you'd think hell would be like. This. Walking through an endless amount of hallways. With no idea of where you are. Other than just the fact that. This is around you. Would be quite. Screwed up honestly. Especially with the whole thing of the back rooms. Where you can't die. You could die in the most gruesome way. And wake right back up on the floor of level zero. And that is something that. Messes with my brain. Alright, 14 more doors, and then we're dealing with them. There are two more achievements for this section, I'm pretty sure, and I have no idea what they are. 11 more. 10 more. Just gonna 
count it down. Nine. Eight. Seven. There are just batteries and shit laying everywhere. Should I be using my equipment? Six. Joke time. Five, four, three, two, one. We're going on a trip. I don't know why that came to mind. Well, I know why. I used to watch that show when I was younger. Anyways, once I walk through this door, or no, once I walk through the door behind this door, then shit can go wrong. First time I've gotten a good look at it. What was that? What actually was that? Oh no. 107 is my current record. There's a lot of gold in these areas. So is this just a good gold farming area if you know what you're doing? I really want to jump scare just so I can see what it looks like. But with the amount of work and the fact that I've given myself three tries. And those three tries only really count once I'm at room 90. Not gonna waste an attempt for a jump scare. Especially when it's a good run like this. So it does start getting darker at a rapid rate. Whatever it is, it looks like a crappier, ready ver redder version of Rush, which I guess was the point. But it really does get darker, and I may take an image of it. But if you look, but when I look at the other monitor, how dark is it for you guys? Because when I look at my other monitor, and I look at is that Saul? Yes. And I look at the darkness on the other monitor. If that's what you're actually seeing, then I feel bad for you guys, because it's darker than what I'm seeing on my other monitor. So I'm hoping that's just. Twitch Studios. Cat. now I get it now when you see him he tells you to not move I moved and almost died so the flashlight is literally just there to be helpful when that happens you can't move if you move he murders you when do you know it's safe to move so as long as I don't F up I should be able to do this because you have somewhat rush. And then, uh, don't move game. So it isn't a one hit kill, I was just low enough health. I 
That explains a lot. By the way, this is working. It's just gonna hit a point to where I can't see shit. I'm dead. I didn't hear him. Welcome back. Hey, hey, buddy. So that was that jump scare. That was awful. <laughs> the rooms are quite empty, but the few lethal, but the few le entities inhabiting them are lethal. So we've gotten both jump scares. Which one did you encounter this time? A60, my friend. Why is this calm? Oh, the red one. I'm not sure what I would call that. Or call it. Is there another one? Well, it usually attacks around A60, so... Could just call it A60, I don't know. Alright, so we've gotten both jump scares. Alright, hurry back, we're not done yet. Jesus Christ, I am scared, actually. I'm almost not wanting to play this anymore. Why is this message so ominous in a game like this? You can't revive here. So, while that was a failed attempt, we did get a little bit ahead because we added 20 rooms to our original record, got a new jump scare, and on top of all of that, we, um... Oh, yeah, we learned how to deal with A90, because in that last moment, I was able to move. I'm going back to the lobby to check my achievements. Um, so we were able to deal with that quite quickly. 37 deaths. That's going to be a lot of entering game and dying. Probably off camera doing that. So we have to kill four more things with the crucifix. Displaying that. We have to pay five dollars a hundred times, and then this. Uh, I can't do this yet because I don't have a group. I assume that's how you. That's like, hey, you exited the rooms. What is that? Because this is the one where you entered the rooms, and that's the door that says A zero 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 above it. So if I had to assume, especially since it looks almost identical. That's just the exit to that area. So that room does have an exit. And then the others are self-explanatory. Oh, wait, yeah, I did get expert technician. But, like, we have this, you have this, you have the four crucifix, die a hundred times this. What, uh, the, I assume, sit in a dark area type, type thing. And then escape. And then you just have... What honestly looks like you've entered room 404 from the back room. One more attempt. This time I'm only buying the picks. 
And then after this attempt, I'm calling it because it's 129 at night. And I'm going to need at least an hour to myself. Honestly. Because if I play this game until I'm going to bed, I'm not going to sleep tonight. And that's not going to be intentional, like staying up. It's just going to be close my eyes, get jump scared in my head because I have a very visual thinking type of shit. Alright, here we go again. This is the safest way to be like me. If you like adrenaline, play horror games. Don't jump out of planes with parachutes that might fail on you. Siren from This Is A Ghost. I've never played This Is A Ghost, so I don't know exactly what you mean. But you said Siren, and my mind went Siren Head. Just thought you should know that. With all the memes out there, Siren Head stopped being scary. But just the thought of this gigantic, titan-like metal being that exists, it's kind of just like... Uh, sings right before doing a powerful attack that kills you. I can understand why that's creepy, actually, yeah. I play the horror games for the adrenaline. That is just an image of the back rooms. What the f Oh, when that happens, are you meant to like stay in that room and that's how you get it stairs back, so back or some shit? That actually kind of scared me. I love horror games. Yeah, some of the best horror games out there are indie horror games because you don't know what to expect. Especially when it's like an indie horror game that just came out that nobody's played. Like, I didn't watch any playthroughs of Resident Evil 8, but because so many people were wanting it and I didn't want to just stay off of YouTube, I may have avoided watching the videos. I basically knew how the game started, ended, and that there was a giant mutant baby. And I didn't even watch anything I just about it. I just wanted to watch YouTube. Taking my earbuds out for this one, because I don't trust this freaking god son of a bitch. Every time I've taken my earbuds out, I should just walk the other way. Literally, every time I've taken my earbuds out. That is weird. I've never seen him do that. I have actually never seen Rush rush a room. Oh, you son of a bitch. These rooms count now. They used to not count as dark rooms. I'm gonna be real, the way I feel right now, if I just, if I die, I'm calling it. Doesn't matter what I die to, if I die, it's over. I'm going to try. But I'm, at this point, I'm just... <sighs> I think it's 20. 
I was thinking it's 20 and 20 isn't here, so I'm going 21. My bullshit logic saved me. <laughs> that sounds like a title to a share my story animation. They make it impossible to not have enough money to get the skeleton key when you're playing multiplayer. So the fact that like you can basically buy everything. Man, I did not expect the game to let me see that. Twenty-five. Look down in the door that's already opened. Do you see the darkness creeping in? I really hope you did, but if you look, once again, press clip and go back and look at that open door, and you can legitimately see where the darkness starts drawing in. another backrooms image this game is probably based off the backrooms now that I think about it freaking backrooms level doors I feel like I look on this clip there are eyes in that bunker I'm gonna sleep I'm gonna put it right here until you're done watching that clip because the there I'm not insane there are two white dots in that black in that black and darkness area in that painting. What is this titled? Field. Yeah, field with something about to murder you in it is what it should be called. That's that's creepy. That's really creepy actually. I'm gonna loot the room. But that gives me the heebie jeebies. Ooh. Alley. That's another image that I feel like belongs to a backrooms room. Yeah, if you look in the distance, you can just see darkness zooming in. Anyways, eyes in the bunker. I'm not insane, right? That's not that's not something just on my screen. There are two little white dots in that bunker, right? Yeah, I was about to say, that's not just me. I'm not going insane, right? Like, those are two little white beady dots. I have to put on some relaxing music to fall asleep tonight, because my mind is going to be racing through this, the scenarios of this game. Because I am too visual of a thinker for this game to not affect me right now. More meds. That was weird. It's weird when you enter a room that would start a, that would start the seek chase, and you get the start of before he shows up. Ha ha ha! Hired. Uh 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 uh. I looked at it. No. -uh. That is not legit. I looked at him. I looked at him, bro. I can hear the darkness music in the distance. Is that normal? Oh, 
Oh, wait. It, like, rubber banded me back. If the round ended that way, I'd be upset. Rubber banded me into him. Like, rubber banded me and spun me around. <laughs> Glitch came up behind me, grabbed me, turned me around, and said, You must watch as he runs into the door. Be why I'm tired. Uh, correct, and that could be why I'm so scared right now. It's just that I'm tired, so I'm extra emotional, and one of the emotions is fear. So when I get tired, I get extra emotional, and depending on the mood I am in, that could mean I'm really silly and really just completely tired. Yeah, I, I had a feeling you'd feel that. It's just it's one of those things where when you're a very emotional person, the more tired you get, the more those emotions just show up more. And depending on the day you've had and how you feel, you'll either be really funny, really just sad. Sometimes you'll just be... Sometimes when you're so tired, when you're a really emotional person and you're so super, super tired, sometimes the immense amount of emotions you feel clash with each other and it just feels like you're feeling nothing at the same, along with everything at the same time. And then, I don't know, depending, like, watch a romance movie, you might get lovey-dovey, I don't know. So, like, laughing, feeling good. That's something that happened to me once. I was chilling with my mom and I was super tired and ended up just not, like, I fell asleep, like, laying on her lap. And I was, like, five at the time. And it's just because we had been watching all these, because at the time, I was too young to really, you know, just, I'd jump around and then I'd get too tired to care what was happening. And she'd watch, like, her Hallmark movies around Christmas, and I think I was able to fall asleep and I, like, went into her room and just fell asleep. I was just really snuggly that night. <laughs> it's just it's cute to think about. Yeah, Hallmark movies are good. They're actually alright. And then, while it's super adorable to think about that, it also is basically a double-edged sword to think about it because... I may be 13, and I should be a teenager that's like, I'm gonna live forever, I'm not afraid of anything, the world can't stop me, but no, I'm a teenager that is, I have anxiety, so I'm in constant fear for my life, and the life of my family. So instead of being like the I can live forever, nothing scares me, it's in fact the exact opposite. I'm worried about how long will I live and if and depending on that, how long will my relatives live? Don't know. Life is basically just a big tumble down a hill. And eventually you have moments where you'll be able to get back on your feet and keep running, but eventually you'll keep tumbling down that hill. Tired enough eventually, and you'll trip. Yeah, most people just deal with normal emotions, but I mean, I don't want to. I'm actually just gonna say it. I wasn't raised in a sheltered home. I was raised in a home where if I had questions, I could ask, and if it was something adult, they obviously give you the whole speech of. I'll tell you when you're older, but I wasn't raised in a house where, like, I had a lot of, I have a lot of liberties that some kids wouldn't have at my age, and thankful for my mom for that, dad for that, I know, and depending on very, it is pretty cool, but depending on some very subtle choices that my parents could have made, it turned out a very different human being. And I love my parents for the way they've made me turn out. Because 
turned out understanding my surroundings and not being and an honest mentality when you end up in public school anything sh any shelter in your parents done are basically just blocked out by the amount of kids that aren't sheltered that you talk to in school I and I've I'm, this is one thing I'm never afraid to admit. I'm homeschooled, and I'm happy about it, because I'm very introverted, and going out is not something I find easy to do, and it would be hard to learn when I'm, you know, anxious about meeting you. Good to hear, Ben. Happy to hear that you're just spending time with us. And I think it's funny. Introverted people say they don't like meeting people and all that. And then the other, and then the introverted people end up drawing to the other introverts. It's like if you're introverted, you will somehow end up meeting another introvert in your life. Just not, just no matter what. You will, in some way, shape, or form, end up meeting an introvert uh, in your lifetime if you are introverted, no matter what. And it's like, okay, then, uh, have that, have that, have that, missing that, missing that, We're missing square and star. Need to keep searching over there, do not. God, when I do a face reveal, there's a high chance I may just do a stream where it's like just chatting at night, because that's when, that's when I lose the ability to just not open my mind to people. The more tired I get, the more I'll just talk to people, say everything that comes to mind. Well, that is... Nice fun square. While that is fun, in some cases, it's really, uh... It's kind of... Shit. In some cases, it's not great, because some people are, uh... For some reason, some people find it weird to let people talk. Yeah, it is only fun if you're talking to people you trust. And that's why I'm like... Now there's something if I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about, because I'm not even 14 yet. But most children, most young people that are old enough to understand, oh, this is what this is, are like, oh yeah, I eventually want to get old enough to go out to clubs and all that. It's like... Well, yeah, I want to have the experience of that. It's like, I, I may be almost 14, but I understand that, like, do not walk over here. I, I have two rules. Never get drunk and drive, and never get in a car when the person that's driving is drunk. Two very good rules to not only use, but live by. I missed a book. It is very good rules, because it's basically like, don't be stupid enough to dr to, to make yourself unable to operate a piece of heavy machinery and then do it, and then don't get in somebody's car who is drunk enough to be unable to operate the car properly. It's like, even if, say, you drank one beer over a four-hour period, you should still be careful if you decide to drive home yourself. Yeah, you may not think it's much, but it can still hurt you. Oh, yeah. That is a good rule. Don't drink if you're upset. You'll end up getting so drunk that you'll black out. 
Because if you're upset and you get drunk enough, you'll eventually just start crying and continuously drinking. I knew it was down here. And I, I think it's funny. Neither my dad nor my mom ever get drunk. Like, to that extent. My mom doesn't drink, and my dad does drink drink beers, but never enough to get drunk. And it's like... I've just learned this off of the fact that... Drinking the wrong for the wrong le reasons can lead to a drink. And yeah, drinking to escape your reality can lead to some, uh... Shitty outcomes. Some involving drugs and crime. Once it hits that point. And I, I think the main reason why I have so many rules of do not do this and try not to be drunk most of the time. Okay then, hi. Uh, is to, um... I went to a 4th of July party with my, I think it's Godfather? My memory doesn't like remembering a lot of important things. And, uh, they got drunk and started doing fireworks. My dad was the only one smart enough to, well, yeah, light drink. Didn't get drunk before the fireworks had, set, had been set off. And, uh, eventually, everybody at the party started getting drunk. And one thing that you need to learn right off the bat is that alcohol and fireworks is not a good combination. It started off kind of stupid, where they just not tell anybody that they were going to light the firework, which is how I sprained my ankle, because I got no warning that a firework was about to be lit, and I tried to run away, and fell, and basically stood up on the side of my foot. Basically, my ankle was on concrete, and I stood up straight on it, which felt only terrible. And that was just where it began. Because a couple hours later, a couple hours later, not a couple hours later, more like, like 30 minutes later, yeah, not fun, just painful and really stupid. Oh, my letter's out. Uh, it was quite stupid because then they did something that I, th that's new, that I think we all can agree is pretty stupid. They put a mortar with no tube on the street and lighted it. Just, that's how you end up getting calls, Beathers, is some people get drunk and then do stupid shit. They put a mortar in the street. Like, why, man? That one got me, because I didn't... Nah. Go to the other side. Yeah, that could be why. Oh, that's one of the main reasons why, Captain. Like, Jesus. I knew it. Like, how stupid can you be? And then, they did something even worse. Because somebody got kind of injured. They then lit a mortar, and, sh like, they didn't safely do it. Somebody, in their hand, they opened the grill, and in their hand lit the mortar. Chuck the mortar inside, and closed the grill. And whatever happened after led, led to somebody having an injured forehead. I was in the house at that time. Because I was dealing with a sprained ankle. And then, <laughs> oh, getting home is fun to deal with in that, because you had a, my father, who was drunk in the back seat. luckily he, he realized, once they started doing the stupid stuff, he just kind of sat in the yard, and just, that's when he finally started hammering drinks, 
Because at that point, he was like, I'm done with the fireworks. They're doing enough stupid stuff, which is smart. Quite smart to do. And then another thing that happened... I think I've told this story, but I don't think you were in chat, so I'm going to tell again. Um, somebody put a mortar in a tube upside down. Hit working overnight on 4th of July, New Year, the bitch. Close for the hut. Place for the last three years. I feel bad for you, but, like, it's all for the protection of the people. You're lying if there's other reason. And also, I can understand why they'd have you work on 4th of July. Stories I've just told are why, because 4th of July normally involves something to do with an alcoholic beverage, which can lead to a lot of accidents. There was one time something happened. Now, this is another story that I love telling. Somebody put a mortar in a tube upside down. Upside down. Which was something. Because, uh... I was sitting on top of some of the fireworks, which is stupid on my part. gone um and when and what happened if i had the video i posted in my discord but the firework like slightly exploded in the tube and everybody just kind of said that's it and then you can and then once it explodes the tube entirely shattered and it exploded and in the background you can hear somebody yell oh shit and I kind of scraped my elbow, which is a lot wor l better than what could have happened, because I fell off the fireworks and fell backwards. It was the last time when my grandparents were there, they allowed me to work on the fireworks. Now, that wasn't that bad, because everybody was at a safe enough distance to where nobody got injured. This one I was not alive for, but there was one time where my, uh, my parents went to my... Uh, Uncle Sean, who I, once again, I think, after what I remember, is my godfather. Um, the, one of the fireworks straight, uh, fell over and landed in the box with all of the other fireworks in it. From what I've been told, it was an amazing show for the 30 seconds it lasted. And then it was over. <laughs> and it's just kind of funny to think about, because it's like, it's only funny because nobody was hurt. Which is surprising. And then we eventually got better at working with fireworks. But there was one year where we didn't really know what we were doing. And a firework box fell over. And three shots out of the pack of the out of the cake that we were shooting off fired at my grandparents. <laughs> Once again, nobody was injured, which is why I can laugh at it. But it's just kind of like, God, you really pick up things when you do them. Because, no, like, all of these times we got lucky because nobody was injured. But we're not always that lucky. And then there was one time where we had the cops called on us because there was a neighbor that I, we assume recently moved in. And we lit off, and that year we lit off, like, 20 to 30 mortars. And the cop was awesome because uh, my dad didn't drink, so he, the cop walked up. He didn't smell alcohol because there was no alcohol being had by my father until after that, until after the fireworks were shooting, done shooting. Uh, he basically said, can you be done by this time? And we said we could, and we did. We got done even quicker than we expected. And that was the only time we've ever actually had anything with the law happen. And it really wasn't that bad, because the cop was cool about it. I have another story, and this one is funny. And we will never stop picking on my father for it. So, I think the two Fourth of Julys ago, we threw a party. All the fireworks were done, and it was like 5, 6 a.m., 
or no, I think I went to bed at 5 a.m. that night. My dad was outside with his boys, just messing around, having a good time. And they were drinking something. And in that drink, I think there was like three things of blueberry blueberry vodka and like one and a half things of blueberry Hawaiian punch that was mixed together. And he bought, he brought, his friend brought, like, a keg of it that was about, it was a pretty big batch that he brought. And my dad and his buddies finished it all that night. And when I finally went to bed, I have no idea what happened beforehand or afterhand, but eventually my dad walked inside. And I wake up to a thud. I lift my head from the pillow, and my dad is sitting Indian style, or cross le legs, on the floor. He fell down the two step stairs, and he just kind of looks at me like he's a like a two year old that doesn't know what's happening yet. And then I watch him. Oh, this, uh, you think it's funny now. The story is not done. I watch him put his phone on the on the uh, coffee table or the uh, tray that we had out. And I, I, I watched him put it down. Then I fell asleep again and woke up to my father waking my mother up to have her him her call his cell phone because he has no idea where it is. And ever since that day, every time a 4th of July party shows up, we're like, Dad, don't fall down the stairs now. And it is just hilarious because all of us have this, like, one thing that's happened to us. And we all pick on each other for like, oh, this happened to you, this happened to me, and it's just like, it's just so funny to think about the fact that that happened. And then you also have the other drunk idiots that, um, one of them got drunk enough to where the, uh, it wasn't one of my dad's friends, it was just, I think it was one of my dad's friend's current girlfriends that walked, that got so drunk that she didn't notice the screen door on the ki on our kitchen slider. And walked right through it. Or ran into it. Put a massive hole in it. And then walked through it. Yeah, drunk stories are embarrassing. But they're also funny to hear. Shit. No? They are funny. I, I swear, once the 4th of July parties happen, everybody there just become the kings and queens of hold my beer and watch this. AKA what's known as I'm drunk and stupid, watch me do something that'll probably hurt me. Okay, that was luck. I knew that was an actual one, so I was just sprinting for the nearest locker. Stop making noise. Now that we know how to deal deal with A90, that'll definitely be fun. To hopefully beat this. I hope it's 200 doors. Because if it is, then there's a chance. If it's actually 600... And we're going to have an issue, because I don't want to look up anything else about this. I also really want to beat this, so I have bragging rights tomorrow. I have a feeling Jack may have already beaten this, but he actually doesn't know how to... Jack's... Jack will watch YouTube videos for us, that's what he which is why tomorrow is going to be a long stream with some breaks that are purely beating this game.
87. I need to readjust my pad uh, shoulder kit. I have no idea what I'm. I need to readjust my mouse pad. That's the word. Walking through this door, immediately be ready to undo that. Games could also be scary because they have it at max volume. Okay, that's actually a really easy mechanic now. Hopefully halfway there. just about to bring up how it's going to be annoying when that happens, but that was actually really lucky. Because it happened when I was in front of a locker. So once it ended, I could basically just, just press E when it was time. If we do beat this tonight, then there's a chance I start streaming tomorrow at 7. I'm going to need a bit longer than Couple hours to not play doors. To play, yeah, it said not play doors. To is lot in my once again it feels like my heart is in my throat right now. didn't press E in time. I think the worst part about this is it starts to get stressful. Because it starts to be like, okay, I'm on room 20. I don't want to die even more now because there'll be so many more rooms. It's a bare minimum. I'd have to go through 61 rooms to get here. It is quite dark. We're only on room 132. I've pulled this out because it's impossible to see otherwise. God, you can't even see out the locker unless it's there.
the bright side. If something happens, at least we've placed a new record. At least for us. What about you? Somebody one-shotted this somewhere. My mind's just made me paranoid by saying A150. New entity, A150. Kills you if you say it seven times. I understand why they give you a 10 cent shakeable to recharge flashlight. Because there hits a point, like, let me put this flashlight away in perspective. That's what I'm seeing. Without the flashlight. This creator had it hard enough to give us a good thing to see. Not saying that L Splash doesn't have a heart. This is one of the only levels indoors that I feel like you can't get cocky here. Not because like you just if you get too cocky eventually you'll die, but just because it keeps you so on edge that you don't want to get cocky because when you because you know that it's impossible to begin with. Like getting cocky in this section is not doable. It's actually a really good strategy. Once you found the door, until you're in the next room, just keep shaking it. I knew that was real. With me, feathers. Still here. Good to know. I'm assuming the other viewer is Captain. Because, yes. God damn it, game. Why do my hands get cold when I'm playing horror games? Probably because I've been clicking for the past 30 minutes. Really, game? Really? I pressed the E and it didn't do it! No! Look at you. God damn it! Does he tell me more? I think this one's too hard to figure out. It isn't. So close to 200. You're right. Damn it! See you next time. Ah, uh, it's 12:14. Do I continue? Three oh one ninety one. If it's door to a hundred, I'm going to cry. If we were nine doors off.
I gave myself three tries before I was going to end it, and that's what I'm going to do. Hold on. I don't want voice chat. I don't have voice chat. Yeah, I don't want voice chat. I'm not young enough to record voice chat. So, tonight, we achieved Detour. I hate you. And that's it. That's what we got today. We're still looking for... T this is going to be easy to do. Because once you find the crucifix, you can just get to him. This is going to be slightly harder to do. Because you got to make it to room 100. This is just going to be some off-camera grinding. This, I'm going to have to look up how to do. And then that's just beat the rooms and something. God, we almost got this tonight. I think that is, unless it's room 600, but it made it so dark that it's got to be 200. Um, is anyone even li live anymore? But, uh, I'm gonna give us some nice outro music. Anyone live? Yes. Yes, someone is live. I'm also, because I used their video to find it, but a post the YouTube channel that I found that I used the video to find in there and copy paste that name copy slash raid Kofi alright thank you guys for watching tomorrow we are I may very well get up early enough to do school so I can bright and early stream this because I'm so determined to beat it now because it's less scary now as much as it is just 200 is probably the end and we made it to 191 which is a good record but we were so close anyways Captain and Beth because you guys do the chat thank you guys for showing up I don't know who the third person was at one point Probably hey, I was in the chat. Um, and we're I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. Bye!